Hello, Internet. Ben here again with um, a different kind of update. Also, I'll try to stop bouncing. I noticed I was bouncing. Um, and a slightly different angle of my room. I don't know. I feel like it should be different every time. Why is that? Is there a reason for that? Why do I believe that? I don't know. You get to look at some old Xbox 360 and Wii and Wii U games and my funny old black and white printer, toner printer, which who prints things anymore? Apparently, I do now and again. I don't know. Airplane tickets. But now you just do that on your phone. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have one thing to talk about. Let's just start there. So um, recently, I didn't know. I'll start at the beginning so you can experience it as I did. Uh, four days ago, I think, as I was going to bed, there was like a like that electronic whine kind of noise. And it was a little distracting. Uh, and I went to sleep. And then four hours later, I woke up and could hear it again. And I was able to go to sleep eventually. Uh, and then the next day it happened, I was like, okay, this is crazy. Turn off all my computers, because I could still, because, uh, yeah, and it was, it was only right going to bed. It wasn't any other time of day, whatever. So I was like, it must be, the, I've got computers in my room. I've got like two of them, which is stupid. Let me, here, we can show you. So there's, there's my main computer, um, which, I don't know, I'm a nerd, so I built it. And then this one over here is like a little Linux box that just like holds some files, the one under, underneath there. And you can see the mess of wires. And my socks, how embarrassing. I take off the socks at my desk and then... How embarrassing. Um, so <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, so I was like, okay, it's probably those, because that's, that's noise. But then the noise was louder. And then I was like, is it? And it got louder. I was like, oh, the noise is louder when I cover my ears. It's coming from inside me. What is going on? Um, and I couldn't sleep that night. And I think partly because I noticed it too. Like I it woke me up and I couldn't get back to sleep. And so I was like, great, I've had now four hours of sleep. Yesterday I had two, like I had a four hour sleep and then a shorter amount after that. And then that night, I only got four hours of sleep. And the next night, <laughs> I only got four hours of sleep. Um, but it was on after that second night, like I, I called the doctor that morning, right? Because I couldn't get back to sleep. So I called and was like, I, I called some on-call person. I don't know. It was, it, there's like um, UVAs around here, and, and they have a hospital that's pretty big. And it's very close to me, so I tend to go there. It's like walkable from here, so why wouldn't I? And it's, my, you know, they're friendly with my insurance company, however all that nonsense works. Um, so anyway, the, but it was really early in the morning, right? It was like five or six when I finally called. Um, so they just gave me some random guy, and he was like, well, if it persists tomorrow, and he asked me a bunch of questions, you know? It's like, do you have any headaches? Is, are you, do you have a fever? Are you dizzy? You know, does, it, does your ear hurt or anything? I was like, no, 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 none of those things. It's just that it sounds really high-pitched. And he was like, well, I don't remember if he said this or he just said some things and I assumed, but that it, it, it was like, it, you know, it might fix itself, basically. I mean. And again, I don't remember if he said or if it just made sense to me intuitively. I was like, yeah, I, maybe I just like laid on it funny and it got or it got somehow damaged and you know it would, it would sort itself out or something. Um, but then as the day was going on and I realized I could hear it all day if it was ever quiet, then I heard it. And I was like, okay. And then I started as like, am I losing my hearing? <laughs> all right, like I was starting to get freaked out and reading about like tinnitus and things, which. Uh, and tinnitus is just, yeah, losing hearing, and it can happen for a variety of reasons. It could be nerve damage or little hairs in your ear. I, I, I'm pretty sure all those counted as tinnitus. But anyway, there, there was a lot of things that could cause it. Um, and usually it's when you, when you, like, someone is getting older, like they were saying, you know, 60, above 60, you might start to lose hearing at a certain range, and either you would get, you were hearing, if you were losing low-pitched sounds, then you'd have a low-pitched hum, and if you were losing high-pitched sounds, then you'd hear a high-pitched hum. And the reason, apparently, is that your brain isn't picking up that sound anymore, but your brain is like, I should be picking up that sound. Why am I not hearing it? And so it just like kind of jacks up the volume on, on the range that it's not hearing um, to try and pick up that sound, because it's worried that it's not getting all the information it needs, right? Your brain is being like, whoa, clever brains. How do brains know to do that? That's wild. Um, so, so anyway, I was like, I'm not waiting because I can't do another day of four hours of sleep. Um, so, so I made an appointment. Uh, they were like, well, you can't actually make an appointment here, but you can go to a walk-in clinic, blah, 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 whatever. So I went in, and she asked me all the same questions. Well, and they took my temperature, the nurse did first, and, and, I, and there was no fever. So I was like, okay. Um, and, and then so when the doctor came in and asked me, she was like, do you have a fever? And I was like, well, I have, would have no way of knowing, but you guys took my temperature and said I don't, so I, I guess I don't. Um, I mean, obviously, if I had a thermometer at home, I could know. And I did buy one once because I got like a nasty flu a couple, I don't know, a few years ago. I don't remember, but I bought a th thermometer and it was just wonky and gave different results every single time. I was like, oh, this thing is useless. <laughs> um, so I just don't even bother anymore. Um, but anyway, so I didn't have a fever. Yeah, no dizzy, no nothing, no symptoms, right? Just the hearing thing. So finally, after asking all these questions, she looks in, 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 in this ear, which 
And, and I told her, it's like, I think it's mostly on my left ear. It seems like it gets louder on my left ear than when I cover my right ear, but I'm always kind of hearing it inside me, right? So it, it was hard for me to say. So I didn't want to say for sure, but I was like, I'm pretty sure it's at least mostly my left ear. So she looked at my right ear, right ear is fine, looked at my left ear, and she's like, oh, yeah, I can see there, it's infected. It's obviously clearly infected. Um, which, <laughs> like, in some ways it was frustrating because it was like, you know, it's like I had to talk to this guy and he's like, oh, I don't know, just wait a day. And, 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 you know, she was asking all these questions. It's like, well, you don't have any symptoms, right? And they both were like, well, you don't have any of these symptoms. It's like, it took 20 seconds to just peek in my ear and for them to be like, oh yeah, there's obviously an infection, right? So I, I don't know. Like in some senses that's frustrating, but in other senses, I have gone into the doctor before for things and they're just like, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing, you know? And then it goes away in a couple of days. So it's just like, I don't know, I just, who knows, right? Bodies do all sorts of things. Something can get hurt and you don't know. I mean, I've, I've woken up before and I slept funny or something and my neck hurts, right? So it's like things can just happen in your body and your body fixes it. So I understand why they ask all these questions. And I know that there are people who are worse who are scared about everything. And so they, they ask all the basic questions, right? And if you don't have a fever, you probably don't have an infection. Except apparently I did, right? So I don't know. So anyway, I understand why they asked the questions, but it, but it was also frustrating, but also then vindicating could be like, I knew it, I knew it was my left ear, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, so the good news kind of is that I'm on antibiotics. Um, I always worry a little bit about antibiotics just because of antibiotic resistance, although that's more because of the meat industry thinks meat industry. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian, although I think it's right to be a vegetarian. And I do try to be conscious of that and eat less meat. Um, I feel like there is a culture. I don't know if it's a culture, if it's just somehow in my family that it, I grew up that way or something, but there does seem to be, no, because I've observed it in other people. There is this culture, it seems, that when you go out, if you don't get meat, it wasn't worth it, right? And I don't, and I didn't really think about that, but then I was noticing it. I was like, I should be eating less meat. And then I, and then I was like, wait, why every time do I go out, I have that feeling too. Where does that come from? And, and then I noticed, yeah, everyone seems to do that, or a lot of people do anyway. So I was like, oh, I just don't get meat all the time, right? Like when I'm going out to a buffet, it's like I don't have to get the chicken or the lamb or whatever. Like vegetables are good too. <laughs> like they taste good. It's about the spices more than than what the spices are on in a lot of cases. So so anyway, uh, anyway, antibiotics. And the other thing though that I worry about with antibiotics, like even if my individual avoidance I don't think really helps the problem at large, um, I do worry about microbiome. I've also seen a lot of things about your microbiome. It's only starting to be understood. Um, and and it, it can get screwed up and it causes all kinds of weird things. And, and the microbiome also apparently, um, one of my friends has Parkinson's um, and apparently your microbiome starts to do a funny thing or, or can before you start to notice the effects of, of Parkinson's. So like the way I read it was like, that's a signal that it's happening, not that it's causing it. But again, it's like microbiomes are weird. They're not well understood. And so I worry when you take an antibiotic, it's not like it's a magical antibiotic that only hits the ear infection. I mean, she kind of mentioned this is like, uh, too, because um, th there was possible, like maybe it'd have other infections. Like they, they were like, give us your urine and things, right? And they're, they're going to test everything. She's like, but even if we find anything, this antibiotic is going to kill it all, right? But it also kills good things. That's why we have probiotics too, because we know the antibiotics kill not everything, but you know, indiscriminately, it targets a lot of different things. Um, so I worry about that. Just like, man, do I really have to take antibiotics? But it's like, well, I don't want my eardrum to rupture, <laughs> right? That would be a bad thing. Um, so anyway, so the good thing is that I'm on antibiotics now, and and that will will clear up the um, the uh, the ear infection. And it's also interesting to me because, like, I was talking to my mom about it, and she was like, the only time I saw your dad cry was when he had an ear infection. And I was like. Mine doesn't feel like anything. I cannot tell. I don't. Sometimes, like I was noticing today, I would feel like a little bit of pressure, but am I just psyching myself out or like? I don't, but it, it doesn't hurt. It's never hurt. Um, it doesn't feel like anything right now. It's just the sound, and I can hear it right now. Um, yeah, it's just this high pitched whine, um, and I don't pay. I don't notice when I listen to music. And there's weird things you can do. So, so here's the other thing. The good thing is the infection will go away, right? Um, and I didn't ask her about this specifically, but intuitively, I think the hope is that permanent damage wasn't caused, right? The, 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 um, the tinnitus should, should go away on its own once the infection is cleared up, I think. Except, there's this funny thing, your brain gets trained, it's already like, probably already trained to like jack up the, 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 the volume at that frequency to try and hear it, and that doesn't go away even after the, the cause, the loss of hearing goes away. Again, assuming it goes away. I kind of wish I asked, because now I'm like, oh, oh no, could there be permanent damage? <laughs> I'm really hoping that once it's cleared up, then, then I can hear again fine at that frequency or whatever. Um, but even if I can, um, 
the my brain is still now trained to, to jack up the volume so you kind of have to do these weird like exercises where you listen to weird sounds at different pitches they've, they've got you can like, find them on youtube um and it was interesting to see the comments because there were people being like oh this helped me so much um my tinnitus whatever it really helps for like a day or, or whatever um but yeah you just have to train your brain to be like no look cool it's cool brain you can hear at that frequency and i and i have noticed um like for sure high pitch noises then i don't hear it um and i and it does seem to come and go a little i've been trying to look for patterns i don't know there are times when i'm if i'm thinking about other things like when i was talking just a second ago i wasn't thinking about the hearing it but if i stop to pay attention to it it's there right so there's just an amount of it can be ignored um but you know once you notice it's impossible when i'm laying in bed at 4 a.m it's all i can hear <laughs> right um but also you can just train your brain to to not jack up the volume on on that um but by listening to those sounds, um, and 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 apparently there is an amount of um, like when it is permanent, your your brain does get used to it. But at least if comments on YouTube are to believe be believed, there's people who like for three years just tonight is always making a noise. Um, I'm also so jealous. This is unrelated, but um, I have a friend who I've known since college, and she'll sleep through anything. Like like I remember in college, a bunch of people hanging out, and she can just pass out and go to sleep. Um, and and that's true still. Like if if, if we're hanging out. You know, she'll she'll just like go to sleep while we're watching something or something or whatever, um, and I, I don't know how she does that. I cannot sleep with with noise, and now especially I'm jealous of her because I feel like I don't know. Maybe maybe it's different when it's inside your head like that, but I can't help but think, man, I bet she could just sleep through this and it wouldn't even bother her. Whereas apparently it wakes me up after, it pretty consistently four hours of sleep. Something I did notice and tried and. I don't know if this is interesting to anyone. If this has ceased to be interesting, feel free to stop listening. Um, but another thing I tried doing was listening to a podcast because I had noticed that even though I, I can't fall asleep with the noise around, I've sometimes stayed up really late watching like speed runs on GDQ or listening to a podcast. Like, uh, there's a couple podcasts I listen to and those ones tend to have episodes that are like an hour long, an hour and a half. Um, and I've sometimes fallen asleep while listening to those in, in, at night. I just like put one on, go to bed, and then be like, yeah, and then when it stops playing, you know, my computer's already locked, it's just playing the noise, and then I'll just fall asleep. But I fall asleep while it's playing, and so I was like, ooh, maybe, because I don't hear the tinnitus when there's other noises going on that I'm paying attention to or, or, or whatever. Um, so I thought maybe if I have that and then go to sleep, I'll put it on loop, so it just goes throughout the night infinitely, right? Then, then maybe I'll be able to sleep. Um, I also, that same night, so I tried that yesterday, I also at that same time tried some, I'm looking at it now, Oh, this cable is not as long as I w would hope, so I won't grab it. Um, it's not Z Quill, but it, it, there, there's something out there, Z Z Z Quill, like Night Quill, Day Quill, or whatever. And there's the generic brand, whatever. It's got the same thing in it from from CVS or whatever. Um, uh, so, so I, I had some of that also on the night, but I was worried because I looked at it and it's like it helps you go to sleep. It's like, well, I do get to sleep. The problem is I wake up again <laughs> later. Um, or maybe I should take it when I wake up. But anyway, so I had that, and I did the U, the the podcast thing, listening to um, Hello Internet. If you're curious, it's a wonderful podcast. I recommend it. It's got a Brady Heron and CGP Gray, who both do educationalish YouTube videos. I don't know why I said ish. They're educational. They're fun as well. They're good. It's not just like lectures or something. It's like neat interviews talking about cool topics with people, and and they're presented well. Um, yeah, they're both awesome. They have a podcast. So I was listening to that on loop. Um, my sleep, I, I do think I feel a little better today, but my sleep last night was bananas. It was like I kept, um, I, I woke up just like repeatedly and I thought I wasn't sleeping for more than like 30 seconds. You know, I thought I was just kind of phasing in and out. But what I realized is that like I would become conscious again, let's say. I don't know if waking up is fair, but whatever. I, I would notice that I could tell by listening to the podcast, it was like, oh, I've never heard this part before or... Like, like there was a part in the very beginning where it's like, I know I listened to parts after this, but I haven't heard now this ad in the middle that's playing, but it's way near the beginning. And I know I passed the beginning, I thought before I went to sleep the first time, right? It was like, it was really weird. So I was, I was getting these weird segments of it all over. So it was one hour, one in like 33 minutes, I think, some old podcast episode I hadn't listened to before. Um, and yeah, it was just very bizarre. Be like, okay, I guess I am sleeping for periods of time, but I don't know for how long, and I apparently don't even know how long I've been awake for on these times. Like, it was really, it was really weird. So I don't know. I think that was a little better than I don't know what's better, right? Four hours of solid sleep and that it's it, or nine hours of bizarre segments of sleep. I don't know. Either way, I'm really worried about the bad effects of not sleeping. Like, I mean, for one thing, my immune system 
it's, you have to sleep, right? And then I've got an ear infection that's trying to clear up. I mean, yeah, I've got the antibiotics, but your immune system's got to do work too, right? Right? Oh, no? I mean, it's bad to not have, right? I mean, I'm, what if I just get something else because my immune system is shot and more likely to get the flu or something, which is going to make things even worse. So it's like, I need to sleep. So I don't know. Um, that's part of why, by the way, I haven't been working on the new pet game much. Um, I'll post a link to that below. I have been continuing to work on it and think on it. Um, but like even at work, uh, and I, I mentioned I'm part-time there now, right, which I'm a little extra thankful for because even on like hour three, I catch myself just kind of staring at the screen. I'm like, what was I doing? <laughs> because I'm just more tired. I'm not thinking properly. It's also easy to blame things like, you know, I've been making mistakes. But it's like, yeah, you know, you make mistakes every day, little mistakes, as long as it's not some huge screw up, you know. It's like, so, so am I attributing every little mistake to the fact I'm not getting sleep? Or are these just mistakes I would make anyway? It gets hard to tell. So anyway, that's my life recently. Um, I've also got a guy uh, who hopefully is going to sign on as a roommate. I mentioned that at the beginning already, right? Gosh, I don't remember. Is that because I haven't been getting sleep? Or is that because I always forget things? <laughs> ah! So anyway, hopefully that becomes uh, cleared up before too long. And I'm also going to try white noise machine. That's another thing. Um, I don't know. Has this been interesting? Does anyone care about my personal life? Right? <laughs> Who cares about this? I don't know. So I hope that was interesting. Also, sorry about the weird angle. Um, I put the laptop up on a chair this time because I felt previous times was like looking up at me weirdly and I feel weird like lording over the camera. So I, I put it up on the chair, but now I'm kind of weirdly low. So I don't know, whatever. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, tinnitus, how exciting. Oh, and I'll link to some of the weird videos you can listen to that are supposed to help the tinnitus. It's like, it sounds like alien music or something. Like, it's almost musical, but not. And you're like, did some weird culture that does isn't from Earth made this? And this is their form of entertainment? <laughs> like, it's so weird. Um, so I'll link to that, because maybe that's interesting. And I'll link to the pet game. Um, I'm making progress. It's been fun. Um, again, not as much as I would like these past few days, because uh, I, I just don't feel like it um, as much. But but still a little bit. I'm, I'm working on it. So... Um, great. I hope this was interesting. <laughs> um, let me know if it was or it wasn't, so I know whether or not to talk about these things in the future. I always feel weird talking about my personal problems to anyone. Um, it's it's not helpful to bother other people with your problems, is how I feel, as, like, personally. Like, I just don't, right? Like, complaining to people isn't going to help me, really. <laughs> like, it doesn't help the problem. The problem is address the problem. Take antibiotics. Find a way to go to sleep, right? Those are the things that actually help, so. Um, but, I don't know. I, I, I Hopefully, at least, if... if the process of like going to a doctor, those experiences, if those can, can help you in, in your own life and dealing with doctors and things, like I, I always think don't be afraid to go in when something's wrong. I mean, another related thing is I had my appendix removed years ago and I could talk about that process, but it was a little similar. They had trouble diagnosing it, but, I, but something was wrong. <laughs> um, it seems that I feel pain in a strange way. I don't, I don't understand, like, because I'm a wuss about other things, like hot water. I'm like, oh, it's too hot, ah, it burns. How can you handle that? But then like, I don't know, my ear doesn't hurt. I don't know, my stomach hurts, but, you know, but, oh, it's, my appendix is going to explode and kill me, apparently. Who knew? So, anyway, bodies are weird. Don't be afraid to get your ch yourself checked out. It's much better than having your appendix explode or your eardrum explode, right? If your doctor says no, but you're convinced, you could be wrong, but you could be right. It's worth having someone look. Um, yeah, because when you're right, it's important. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Almost 20 minutes. I'm never going to get under 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't try to... I should keep, I should make that my goal. And that way, it, if my goal was 20 minutes, I might go for 30, right? So at least if it's 10, I go to 20. Whatever. Goodbye. <laughs>